I know it's a bit early, but I'm going to start doing our Christmas songs. And the reason we need to start them early as musicians is that we, obviously, we need to learn them, if possible, by heart. And what that means is when we go on, you know, family Christmas or whatever, or you're with friends or uh, celebratory events, you can just pick up your instrument and play along. Now, the thing with a lot of Christmas carols is they're... Uh, the scores are available in various keys and you know depending on which instrument you play uh, for example um i think f major for way in a manger is uh, uh, quite useful for the cello um but perhaps d major g major would be more useful for the piano do you see what i'm saying so what i'm going to do this week is I, i'm going to start trying to work out how we go about improvising in any key these very, very simple songs. And they're actually so simple, uh, and they use a, a traditional method of, um, uh, you know, moving around the instrument. A bit like Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. You know, it's fourths or fifths or, you know, it's, it's very, very easy climbing up and going down. And that's what we're going to be working with this week for all instruments. So what I'll try and do is... I'll try and work out a way of explaining via podcast when to go up and down and things like that. Because really, improvising to a song that you know really, really well is just about knowing whether you go higher up or lower down, depending on whatever note that you start on. So we can talk in terms of semitones and tones, do you see? Another really good thing about um, improvising with songs such as these is quite often you can just play the root note and then the fifth, or chords, the first, the third and the fifth, or up, or the arpeggio of the key that is ever, is being performed, you see. And we're going to work with that this week, because especially for cellists, it's quite easy just to play the bass notes, and we can get away with murder doing that. You know, we whereas the violinist may have to hold the tune, I mean, of course, we, you're more than welcome to hold the tune, but the bass line is a sort of cheetah's way to being uh, perceived as quite expert and uh, you ask any bass player in any band most of um, their work just involves four notes throughout the whole piece we can sort of work out ways that we can um, you know circumnavigate the tricky bits for example so anyway i've done a version and um, uh, cuddles and um, uh, vapor punk are going to be doing a very special audio podcast advent calendar for December for the 24 days and the run up to Christmas. I think that's really exciting, don't you? Anyway, no doubt Away in a Manger will be in it. So I've got to get on and do as many different um, Christmas songs as I can find. Well, at least 24 of them. Or, Or do you go up to 25? Do you open one on Christmas Day? I think you do, don't you? So I'd better do 25 of them. Anyway, here is my first um, working with with the old robots over there. Well, they're not that old. I mean, they're they're quite new, actually. They're babies compared to me. But I've been working with the baby robots, uh, Cuddles and Vapor Punk. And Momo and the Space Flies is dying to get involved as well. So I think we're going to have a really exciting time with this advent calendar. So anyway, um, have a listen. And see what wonderful things you can do with a synthesizer and with whatever instrument you've got in front of you when you start playing around with the idea.